Hi Mary, welcome to Gmail.com. Can I help you? Okay, you wanna know about limited reagents. Okay. What that means. Okay. So let's do to the chapter. So let's see for example we have I'm gonna take this example okay and we got the reactants and we had the products which one you think that is the limited reactant Okay, you say uh, copper sulfate. Okay, uh, why? Because copper sulfate contains the least amount of moles in the reactant site, that's correct. However, we cannot assume that copper sulfate will be the limited reactant. Because, let's see for example, this is just hypothetical, okay? Let's see, every, every compound contains certain properties and one of those properties is the rate of the reaction when they are combined they have certain rate or a speed right so let's see for example what happened if copper sulfate one of those properties when they react with potassium iodide it reacts very 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 slow okay and copper potassium iodide reacts very 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 fast okay there will be a point in which there is no more potassium iodide and when that finish the reaction stops so in that case my limited reactant will be potassium iodide so that's why we had to make two separate calculations from copper sulfate and potassium iodide to know which one of those two are are the limited reactant so you understand that yes let's do some problem okay let's see that one So if we have if two grams of potassium iodide, so initially we have two grams of potassium iodide are added to a solution containing 0 0.5, 25 grams of copper sulfate. Let's let's calculate the mass of potassium sulfate. So we're go going to calculate the number of grams produced of potassium sulfate. So we are going to do two calculations. One from potassium iodide and the other one from copper sulfate. 
So how many grams of those two reactants needed to produce potassium sulfate? So let's start doing it. So if I start with 0.5 grams of potassium sulfate, we have to pass these two moles. So with mo one mole of copper sulfate, so we had the and one mole of copper sulfate weighs 159.60 grams. So I know my grams of copper sulfate and grams of copper sulfate cancel out. Then I'm going to look my mole ratio in my equation. The mole ratio is those numbers from copper sulfate and potassium sulfate. So we have one mole of copper sulfate that produce two moles of potassium iodide, potassium sulfate. So moles of copper, copper sulfate and moles of copper sulfate cancel out. Then I'm going to pass those moles to grams. So in one mole of potassium sulfate weighs 174.25 grams. So we got moles of potassium sulfate and moles of potassium sulfate is cancel out. So I got my answer in grams. So we have here 0.525 times 2 times 174.25 grams divided by 159.60 so we multiply so that give us 182.96 grams divided by 159.60 that will be equal to 1.114 grams of potassium sulfate. So far so good? Good. So now I'm going to make my, my other calculation. <coughs> 